Windows 10 comes with a free utility that really helps in cleaning up space on your computer. In this video, we will look at the Windows 10 Disk Cleanup Utility, and then we'll look at Storage Sense, which is replacing Disk Cleanup. And finally, we'll have a look how CCleaner complements both. Hi, this is Steve Staves, and my aim is to help you make your computing experience easier. But why clean up to start with? Running a cleanup gets rid of junk that can accumulate and slow down your computer, and it also helps reclaim disk space. The one and only utility outside of Microsoft's built-in tools that I will ever use is CCleaner, as it has a proven track record. Almost all other disk cleanup tools and utilities can irreparably damage your system. Why? Well, when Windows is updated and you do not update the cleanup utilities, they can clean up critical registry entries or files and corrupt Windows. Registry cleaners and optimizers, stay away from them and never, ever use them. To run disk cleanup in Windows 10, click on Start in the bottom left corner and on your keyboard, begin by typing disk. You will see the disk cleanup utility will pop up in the list. Click on it and you'll be presented with the drive selection window. You can choose another drive besides drive C, but by default, that is the one you would normally select. Click on OK, and when you see the disk cleanup window pop up, on the left-hand side here, I always recommend click on clean up system files. Again, you'll get the drive selection window, click on OK again, and wait for the window to load. Now, as of Windows 10 version 1809, Microsoft included an option in this list that said downloaded files. These were your personally downloaded files, and most people don't want to delete those. I delete mine, but that's just because I like to keep a clean system. There was also an option in this list to delete the Windows ESD installation files. On this computer, you won't see them because I've actually already deleted them all because I don't need them. But the ESD files are used for resetting your PC back to its factory default settings. If you delete these files, you'll have more space, but you won't be able to find the files necessary to roll your computer back. So keep that in mind. And if you do opt to still use this disk cleanup utility, because you still can, just run it and it'll delete everything that you've selected in the list for it to delete. But just keep those two things in mind about the downloaded files and about the ESD files. The new Storage Sense utility in Windows 10 can be accessed by clicking on Start and type in Storage. And when you see Storage Settings, click on it and that'll open up your Storage Sense utility. Now, here's a couple of things to keep in mind. By default, Storage Sense is turned off. You can configure it and turn it on. There are some options right below that I'm gonna deal with first. One is the other things that you can clean up on your computer. If you show more categories, you will see that there's temporary files, there's other files, various things listed in this list, such as your documents, your pictures, videos, and what's basically using up the space on your computer. You can go into any one of these and select different options as to what it's going to clean up or leave. Or you can run each one individually right now. The main part that you want to do is on the main screen of storage, click on this little button at the top here to turn Storage Sense on. Once you've turned it on, click on Configure Storage Sense and you have a number of different options here. The ones that I would recommend it says run storage sense either during low disk space, every day, every week, every month. I recommend at the very minimum once every week. Why? Simply because if you're browsing the internet a lot, all these temporary files accumulate and slow down your computer. So run it at least once every week. Your temporary files also check this off. But basically the things that this is going to delete are things like old index content, cached files, device driver packages, downloaded program files, system log files, there's a whole list of stuff that it's going to delete. Um, your recycle bin, if you're prone to deleting stuff and then having to recover it a couple of days later because you deleted it by accident, which is most people, change this to once every 30 days to delete your recycle bin. At least it's on a schedule then so that it will keep it cleaner for you. If you know that you're not one of those people that delete stuff, change it to once a day or once every 14 days, but I leave mine at 30 days just in case. 
And in the downloads folder, here's something as well. I often run into computers where the downloads folder has files dating back five, 10 years, which really is not necessary. Most people just don't want to get rid of it because they're not sure if they might ever use it again. But by the time it comes around to using it, Windows has been replaced 10 times over and those files will never run again anyway. So at the very minimum, once every 30 days, have it delete everything in your downloads folder. Now here's where I'll preface this with a warning. If there are files there that you're going to keep permanently, do not keep them in your downloads folder. Move them out of there into another folder in your documents uh, folder structure. Change it and save it there instead. Now you can run this right now, clean up now, and let it run through and clean up all these options on your computer. It does make a difference for speed. It does make a difference for space, and it keeps your computer running a lot cleaner. Finally, we are going to look at my favorite utility, which is CCleaner. CCleaner deletes a lot more than disk cleanup and storage sense combined. But do exercise caution when selecting the things that you want to delete in here. Go through on the custom clean option here, select everything that you would like it to delete. You can also go through your applications and select what temporary files you want it to delete, whether you want to delete save passwords, Bear in mind, if you delete some of this stuff, you cannot get it back. So do exercise caution when you're selecting what you want to delete. And once you've got it selected, all you have to do is click on Run Cleaner. It'll go through and clean up your, compu your computer. Personally, I run this at least once a day on my computer. It makes a huge difference on the performance, especially when you're browsing the web, because it doesn't have to go through all your temporary files to reload the pages. So keep this in mind, great program, free for home use, do run it and your computer will stay running optimally. Although you can still use disk cleanup, I would recommend that you ease off from using it and instead use the more friendly and automated storage sense option. Thanks for dropping in and have a fantastic day. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so.